It's NFL preview time. You know we got my guy Eric Lyons. Let's get into it. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to the Sports Headline Show. I'm your host, Sean Davis. And like I said in the intro, cold open, if you will, it's NFL previews time. We still got our power ranking series coming, but I thought we were supposed to get them on a couple of weeks ago. Some scheduling uh, conflicts didn't allow that to happen, but we're a little bit closer to the season. So you know what? Why not? My guy, Eric Lyons, back on the show, host of the Electrify podcast, hitting its five-year anniversary in a couple of weeks. So yes, uh, Eric, first off, congrats on the major milestone and uh, glad to have you back, bro. Hey, man, I'm, I'm glad to be back. You know, it's almost my favorite time of the year, man, football season. You know, this is what I live for. Um, we're, we're, we're what, mid-August now, so we're knocking on the door. And, yeah, like you said, September 6th will be five years in this the thing, The day man. before so, the yeah. season starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, it's crazy because my first show was my NFL kickoff show. So oh, I wow. line it up like that every year. Yeah, so every year the anniversary is my NFL kickoff show. That's awesome. I, I can't decide what I want to do on my hat. No hat. hat on, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what I should have done. But, um, yeah, let's kick this off. we got a jam-packed show. And let's start off with a conversation, Eric, that I know you're super, super passionate about. You've talked about it a ton on your podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, the Electrify podcast. So we'll include the links down below. Um, the running back conversation in terms of their being underpaid and things of that nature. And – it's tough because I understand both sides, Eric. And I'm like, if I'm a GM, I'm going to keep on franchise tag you because that's just what the market. I'm not going to overpay you like mm -hmm. like crappy or not. Like I'm not going to like overpay you, pay you $20 million, which is honestly what you're worth if I can go get another one of you for $6 million to get equal production. So, but again, mm -hmm. if I'm a running back, like your guy's Derrick Henry, and Derrick Henry has literally been that Titans offense for the past – Five years with Marcus and Marcus Mariota and Ryan Tannehill as his quarterback, and they've been 10 11 win teams besides mm -hmm. last year almost every year, large part because of Derrick Henry. So I get both sides. Eric, what are your just like overall thoughts, if you will, on the situation as a whole? Um, I see where you're coming from. I see, I, I get it, man. I get it. This is a very, it's a lot of moving pieces here. Um, each city, each team is different. Each situation is different. Every running back is not the same. But guys like Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, Alvin Kamara, Aaron Jones, Jonathan Taylor, Josh Jacobs, those guys, they don't grow on trees, right? So Saquon, it's like when you have these guys, you have to pay them, yeah. right? Because I don't care what anybody says. You can say it's a pass first league all you want. It's a passing league all you want. But if you cannot run the football, you're not going to have success. And that's just a fact. It's not like something I just say. I don't, I, I, you have to run the ball. You look at the Buffalo Bills who are in desperate need of a legitimate running back because no way they're they leading. Pick up down and cook right now. I, I, I don't know why they haven't been on this line. Listen. Your starting quarterback should not be your leading rusher all the time, especially in a playoff game at home. You look the at Bengals why game? they got smoked by not the, the Bengals at home. They couldn't yeah. run the ball. The Bengals knew that. They said, they're not going to run. Josh Allen threw the ball 30-plus 30, 30 times, ran the ball what, almost 10-plus times, and led the team in rushing. That's right. a problem. You look at the final four teams last year who went to the NFC title game, the AFC title game. They either had a, a thousand yard rusher or somebody knocking it at the door for a thousand yards. Even the Chiefs had to run the ball, but, uh, and they had Patrick Mahomes. Pacheco? Yeah, he was he was right. knocking at the door for a thousand. Yeah, you have to run the football, man. It, it, it's you can't be one dimensional. If you're one dimensional, you're not going to win anything. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? So the value of a running back, I know, especially in the offense, is where you have maybe a tandem or maybe it's a triple threat offense. Okay, cool. Yeah. Everybody's not going to get broken off. Like last year, you had Pollard and Zeke go off. Zeke already got his bag. Yeah. But guys deserve to get paid, man, especially when they are a, the, the majority of their team success like Derrick Henry. You look at last year with Saquon. That was his bounce back year. 
He was the Giants' off. offense. He was the Giants' <laughs> offense, but who got paid this offseason? Yeah. Daniel Jones. Yeah. Look at what's going on in Vegas. Josh Jacobs. He was on my fantasy team last year. A big reason why I got this. That's a that's a great flex, by the way. Just <laughs> I didn't even peep it. All time flex, but keep going. Carried the Raiders last year, even with Devontae Adams. Their car was terrible. He was terrible. But Josh Jacobs, I watched him literally walk off, walk off touchdowns and win games for this team. And you guys go and give all your money to Jimmy G? Nah, no. Something's not right, man. Something's not right. That's not that's not okay. You know, it's like every it seems like everybody at a skill position is a value. Wide receivers, they get a bag. Mm. Who stole money from the Jags last year? Who was that? Christian Kirk. Although in his defense, he's like actually he's made it somewhat yeah. understandable. No, he, he didn't have a bad season this past at, year. At the time, at the we were, time we were all it like, was like dog. Yeah. Yeah. I so, get your point. Tight ends, they get money to an extent. Yeah. But they get for what they do, they get paid well. I feel yeah. like everybody except for running backs get paid for their contributions, man. And yeah. it's not fair because it's like as an owner, as a GM, you want this running back to go for over a thousand yards, almost yeah. two thousand yards, have 10 plus touchdowns. Okay, they go do that, and then you can't reward them for that. It's almost like being good is a bad thing for a running back. But, yeah, and that's the frustrating thing because, like, we've seen teams like the 49ers do this before they traded for Christian McCaffrey where it was, mm-hmm. we're just going to get, like, they had Jeff Wilson, Raheem Mostert. Uh, they, my Elijah point is they Mitchell? had, like, Elijah Mitchell. They had so many running backs, but, like, we're going to use you for this year. We're going to get the most out of you. And then we're just going to go draft a fifth-round dude mm-hmm. and – He'll have equal production. And I think that's really part of the problem. And again, like, that's why I see both sides of it, right? And I think, unfortunately, there's not a ton the running backs can do because the next CBA is for another, like, eight years, mm. which the – I think the old director of the NFL Players Association, he, had, he was on the Pivot podcast maybe a few months ago now, and he basically, like, made a great point that for one the players don't like stay together long enough to where like you can actually get something done and for two you've got to negotiate better for yourself because like to your point eric there's no way i'm going in there and i'm gonna say like you know i rush for 1500 yards i'm your entire offense I'm cool with getting $6 million where the 17th best tight end, this is hyperbole, but like the 17th best tight end could get $10 million. Like that doesn't make sense. But if the third best running back is going to get $8 million, if I'm an NFL executive, why would I give the 10th best running back $12 million? Like, like, so it sucks. I'm in full agreement with you though. And I am generally more pro player. So I'm in full agreement with you that these guys, they got to get their money, right? But And they deserve their money more importantly. But at the same time, like like I said, it sucks. And unfortunately, I don't think anything's going to change until the new CBA happens, which again yeah. is like for 2031. Yeah, man. It's like, like you said, negotiating. It's like, Saquon, you can't go talk. Talk that talk. Like, oh, I could hold out and, and then you go sign for like they go sign the the franchise tag but like you get a two million like there ain't no way like you go sign a not even a tag just a one-year deal a one-year deal like come on now my thing is okay you do that and then maybe you get away and you go in a free agency next year yeah and maybe you get some money maybe you do have another good year and you can go, go get yourself some money i mean i guess that would be the best version of betting betting on yourself because I think, cousins. You know I me. Mean? I think this is better than sitting out because I agree. You look at what happened to Le'Veon. He sat out a full year and he he never got back to form. Right? So at least in this, yeah, you didn't get what you wanted. Yeah, you still gotta show up, but you get paid, you get to stay in shape, and you get another year to show other teams, other 31 teams, yo, I'm that guy. Pay me, right? 
So I get that. But also, we already know health is wealth. You got to stay healthy, man. Like even, and that's not even just for running backs. I mean, you, we watched Dak, his freaking ankle exploded when he was on the tag. But then the Cowboys didn't have a choice but to pay him, right? Because you mm-hmm. have to pay your quarterback. Even though he wasn't the healthiest, you have to pay him, right? So we just got to hope that Saquon has a healthy year. But you brought up a good point about the 49ers. I mean, come on, fam. I watched that firsthand. I mean, I, I literally watched that firsthand in 2019, 2020. I knew that was going to happen to us yeah. going into that title game. Jimmy G didn't have to do anything. He showed up. Was that the game he threw, like, six passes? and they Yeah, he just showed off. up and handed the ball off. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, man. you know the meme where you just put your name on the project and you get an A? That was that's Jimmy G. That's, that's what that was. <laughs> oh, that's man. what that was, bro. All they yeah. did, they ran the ball down our throats, and we could not do anything to stop it. And it's like, fam, that's that style of football can still be played, right? It's like, yeah, they don't want to admit you, that. You gotta have you a. Get... You, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was just gonna say, you gotta have like a special coordinator, though. Like, I think mm-hmm. you can only do that with certain schemes, like the Shanahan schemes, like the Niners, the be- the Browns, or like the other Titans, like these like wide zone teams. You can do. I don't think like. I don't think the Denver Broncos could do it. For example, I think I have a certain type of style, and it is like that Niners. It is like that Titans, the Browns, uh, these outside zone schemes. Because then, like, the six times you do throw the ball with your quarterback, it's going to be a play action, and the defense bites on it. It's a 50-yard touchdown. So That's why. That's why. We'll get to this. But I know, you know, we got Jay Love on the docket. That's that's why I love I, Jordan Love. I need to find that clip from like two years ago. I need to find that clip. <laughs> I need to find that clip. I'm gonna Listen, insert man. it here, Sean. Insert it here in post if you if you remember this. All right. Do you, do you um, not believe in Jordan Love? Listen, man. I don't believe in Santa Claus, so I really don't believe in Jordan Love. <laughs> I, I I don't, bro. I'm so sorry. Like what I saw from him. We're clipping that, Eric. We're clipping that, saying that's a. <laughs> Uh, frozen cold takes <laughs> when uh, Jordan Love throws up for 5,000 yards. Bro, this yeah, career. like, bro, listen, if he takes off, he takes off, and I'll buy a jersey. I, I will support him. If, if, if it's his time, I'll support him. Listen, you bring up the play action, bam, you got Aaron Jones, AJ Dillon. Yeah, and I it was evident in preseason, in the, in the preseason, you know, the, the action he did see the fake. And have an entire line shift, and he just rolled out free. They all thought he was they were running. And it was open every time. Like, fam, that's all they gotta do. Lean on the run, and that play action come up. Like even Baker Mayfield had a lot of success in Cleveland yeah. off the play action. And as soon as they went I away from they that, did Baker like that, man. That really made me mad. But keep changed going. the entire offense and messed him up. I'm like, bro, his bread and butter is the play action. Lean into yeah. that. The injury messed him up too. Yeah, it's like it's like almost like a college style offense, and I think that's really what Matt Lafleur's offense is like. Yeah, and he couldn't fully run. He whether he wants to admit it or not, he couldn't fully run his offense with Aaron Rodgers. He couldn't because him and Jordan Love, first of all, age difference, skill level difference, but Jordan Love has wheels, bro. He has wheels. And, yeah, you know, the old man can still get around. But Jordan, Jordan Love has the threat of, yo, he really might take off. Yeah. That's that's something different that we've never had before in Green Bay. We, we haven't had that before. So now it's like it's scary for, uh, for like, it's it's uh, it, it's going to be a scary thing when this offense really works, man. And, and Matt LaFleur gets to show, like, yeah, I can really coach. Like, I'm, I'm not just here because I had Aaron Rodgers. I can coach football. And that's yeah. really what I want for him this year, too. I'm not a Packers fan, but I will never forgive Matt LaFleur. 2020 NFC Championship game, mm-hmm. fourth and five on, like, the 18-yard line in the red zone. Mm-hmm. And he freaking decides to kick a field goal against Tom Brady in the fourth quarter instead of going for it with the yeah. MVP. I don't I don't care. I will die on this hill. I'm putting the ball in the end. Can you imagine if Andy Reid down a touchdown – on like the 18 yard line, say you know we're gonna kick the field goal instead of giving the ball to Patrick Mahomes. Ain't no way that's happening. I'm still Listen, not forgiving Matt Lafleur for that. I, I understand everybody's frustration with that, but I need y'all to go back and watch that game. 
and tell me Brady what Rogers, was bad. But what was what did Rogers do in that second half to say, you know care. what? I want the ball in his hands. He I don't care. He wasn't doing anything. He I wasn't don't care. doing much. I don't care. I had, at that in that moment, I had more faith in the defense to get a stop. And then we get the ball back and, and give Rogers that last. Considering because the defense Tom got Brady's three turnovers, we got three turnovers in the second half. You had full and then, confidence. And then what did we do on offense? Punt it, punt it, punt oh, it. Wait. So you're telling me you had full confidence that what's Tom's? His middle name is Edward, right? Mm. Okay, you you had full confidence that Thomas Edward Brady. Yeah, that does sound familiar. Thomas Edward Brady was going to give you a the ball right back with two minutes left. To seal the game, you had full confidence in the defense. That still Sean, gave up the points. Sean, we got him to a third down. Was it Kevin then, King? Yeah, it, we got him to a third it down. It was a holding, called, wasn't it? It was holding. Softest DPI call I've ever I remember seen. Remember now? Life. Yeah, and then that's how they got the first down. Like it, it it's not far fetched. Like the okay. defense was strapped in the second half. Okay, they strapped up, man, and and the offense couldn't capitalize. So. Yeah, in that moment, yeah, put my defense back on the field. I'll take the three. It's safe. Because I, if you if you don't take three there, then you're out of the game. No, you're not. Yes, you are, bro. You're still down eight. And it's then still, now we got to get another. Not only do we got to get a stop, but now we got to go score eight points. You were going to? No. What? <laughs> Dog. Okay, wait, hear me out. Regardless of what you were going to do in that, in that situation, mm-hmm. you were going to need to score again anyway. Yeah. Regardless. Right? Yeah. Why not just take, be aggressive, where the outcome is theoretically going to be the exact same? Uh huh. Because you need to score anyway. Yeah, I, I, un- I understand where you're coming from, but I still agree with the call, man. It was safe. It was Fair safe, enough. but it just Rogers did not show me that he had that in him. Like he I was just, the MVP. Yeah, in the regular season. <laughs> Come on, man. We got to. We got to stop Fair this, enough. man. Fair we got to stop this. We got to stop this. Listen. Fair enough. Twenty twenty one. We won MVP, right? Right. How the season end? You're right. Twenty twenty one. He won MVP again, right? Twenty twenty one. That is all a rod. I'm with you. That 49ers game was nasty, and they still on, should man. have won that game. By the way, the special teams on, was a dog. Listen to me. I watched that team. Oh, yeah. Everybody knew that the special teams was the downfall of that team, right? The defense was, like, lights out. But as long as the offense and defense did their job, we wouldn't have known. Defense did what they had to do. Offense just didn't show up that day. Offense kept punting the ball. And Rodgers was awful. He kept was awful. And then, you know, your special Pause. teams has, has that collapse. And it's like, even at halftime, I, I tell the story all the time. At halftime, I'm like, this isn't enough, bro. We, yeah, we, this isn't enough. I'm like, this, this is, I, I was uncomfortable. Right. I said, this is not enough, bro. I said, this is not enough. And as soon as we had that one mistake, I said, here we go. And it's like, fam, that's when I started to lose faith in him. It's it, that Niners game? Yeah, with the team. Fair. Oh, because okay, it's okay, like, okay. it doesn't look like he can Not that he doesn't care. Yeah. But, I don't see the he look that has. he used to have. That that look that Patrick Mahomes has is like, yeah. I'm never out of it. Yeah, that type of or like a Justin Herbert where that I'm never out of this game. I, it, it don't matter what what right. the clock says. I'm in this. Burrow, yeah, yeah, like guys like that. He didn't yeah. have that, bro. It's like you're throwing an effort ball to Devontae Adams. He just kept throwing it though. Like I, I'm cool with the Lazard occasional effort ball. On a crosser. I'm cool with the occasional epic ball, but like it was like eight epic balls that game. Okay, yeah, okay, bro. dial it back, bro. And it's like you, 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 you you're your meaner. You're, 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 you're doing this, you're shaking your head. Like, okay, fam. no, yeah, no, but I, I don't know. Perfect segue into my guy, Jordan Love. You your guy, know, you don't get this title yet. <laughs> Again, Sean, roll the footage. But like in post production, but you don't you, you don't get that title. You, you you haven't earned it yet. I understand. Uh, <laughs> but what are your expectations as a Packers fan for Jordan Love this year? Because me and Warner just recorded uh, QB tiers list that's, that's going to get released after this episode drops. 
Okay. But in the episode, we were like, if Jordan Love is by the end of the year a tier two like superstar quarterback, it would not surprise us whatsoever. That's how yeah. high I love Jordan Love, pun intended. What what are your expectations for him this year? Um, listen, man, I'm I'm not about to say he's gonna burn the league down or anything crazy like that, but it's gonna be way better than people are expecting. I yeah. feel like people are banking on him being bad because they want to be right because yeah. of how much they've talked and how much they're trying to play this. Oh, it's about to be this big drop off now that yeah. Rogers is gone. No, yeah, no. You know, I listen. We're young. We have a young receiving core, and he's been working with these guys since they got there, right? I love like, people got to understand that. J Love was taking second team reps last year. He's been working with the rookies, right? Mm-hmm. He's been working with them all off season as well. He's probably put in more work with them than Rogers did, and I'm not lying. Mm-hmm. Rogers didn't show up to OTAs last year. Yeah, right. So you get the OT, you skip OTAs, then you get the camp. Then week one, when you miss uh, Watson. Uh, on a uh, deep route, you expected that to hit. Bam, you when, when Wasn't did that you the one Watson was... dropped, though? Yeah. Watson dropped like, one. Their timing was off all the way through, damn near half the season. Then all yeah. of a sudden, Watson is Wa- catching touchdowns yeah. every game. Watson got hurt. He came back and balled the heck out. All right, out. Dobbs got hurt as well. And it's like, but then towards the end of the season, you start seeing them develop the chemistry that they could have had week one if Rodgers would have worked with his teammates. You understand what I'm saying? So, right. I think that Jay Love already has his chemistry with these guys, and they're jumping into their second year. They, they've they already played. They've been in a fire already, and they're, you know, bringing their quarterback into it. You got 33 in the backfield, 28 in the backfield. The Fact, line should really be healthy a, this year. You know, this is really a recipe for him. It's a, it's really his to lose. Honestly, yeah. it's all there for him. You know, yeah. the defense is they just all they all the defense has to do is do their job. Man, Joe Barry it. is awful though. So wait, wait, you I, know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna add to that really quickly. The defense has to do their job and overcome the idiocy of Joe Barry. Yeah, and Jair Jair said that man. He said people try to blame it all on Barry, but it's like oh, okay, okay, okay himself. He plays off the ball. He said that he, him and the other guys, they have to take accountability for what they do. Yeah. It's like, it's not Barry telling them to play all the way back. They decide to play all the way back. So it's up to them to say, nah, we're not going to play 10 yards off the ball. We're going to we're gonna get in your face, right? Yeah. And I feel like that they are taking more pride into that now because they know the job that they have this year is harder than they've ever had before. Because you don't have Aaron Rodgers on the other side of the field. You have a young quarterback. And Jordan Love. But yeah. as all that aside, Jordan Love himself, I think it's going to have a good year, man. I, I really do. I think that his confidence is growing with each day. Yeah. I think that he knows that he's the guy. And the vibe in Green Bay just feels different, man. Yeah. It feels more loose. I feel like these guys are about to have fun. Um, I think that Matt LaFleur is finally going to get that respect that he deserves like a Shanahan gets. Yeah. Right? for masterminding what he's going to put on the field this year. Because J-Love already said it's going to be the same offense. But how it's going to look, how is it going to look? It's going to look different, Yeah. right? Because we've already seen they've got different gadget plays for guys now. Um, Jaden Reed's a stud. He's on my uh, dynasty team. Second round, I love him. A lot of speed. And um, just like for the two drives that he was in for the preseason game, he missed – he missed Watson, but that was just good defense. Yeah. The guy on the Bengals. Then he did miss a tight end on the crossing route. Um, he missed Aaron Jones on a fl- in the flat, but he did hit him the second time. But the best throw was obviously a throw he made to Dobbs for the touchdown. It's like, yeah. man, he can make these throws. Mm-hmm. And then it's like I've seen throws that he made at camp where it's like it looks very Rodgers-esque. He had um, like a sidearm one, I think. Yeah. Well, and he fit it through like three, like three defenders. Yeah. Like, Man, y'all not are y'all not seeing this? Like, I tell me if this is crazy, and this is either gonna be one of my best takes ever, or this is gonna age really, really poorly. Mm-hmm. But in that said, QB tier maker, I ended the show off by saying the Packers might just have baby Aaron Rodgers on the roster right now. Enjoy the love, because like 
seriously, it's like watching a slight a worse version of Aaron Rodgers. Like stupid quick release in terms of how fast they get the ball out. They've really like Green Bay, like they talked a ton about how they've worked on it, worked with him on his mechanics since he's got there. Mm-hmm. And I think you brought up a great point about how why like people are almost preying on his downfall because of how criticized his draft selection was. Where like every at the mm-hmm. time we're all like what the hell? You you have the MVP. Why are you drafting his replacement? Mm-hmm. But one of the benefits of that is he got to mentor or learn from a top three quarterback, talent wise at least of all time. All time. And, and Aaron Rodgers. So the mechanics are great now. The footwork is great. He has a cannon of an arm, and really the only knock you can have on him, it, really from that Eagles game and just from his college tape, even. Some ball placement issues, some like some mm. accuracy at times, but like it's all there. And like to yeah. your point, Eric, it's his to lose. If he's bad this year, I think it's gonna be because Jordan Love just isn't good. I don't think it's gonna yeah. be one of those things where, oh, the O line, like because Bakhtiari, it took him a long time to really get back. But when he was healthy last year, he still looked like the best tackle in football outside and of Trent Williams. Preseason game, even with D back out, line still looked great. Like Ellen Jenkins is a stud. Stud, like, bro. I'm like, it's all there. Like, it's all there. He has the I just, tools. I really think that, and I'm sorry to say this. Uh oh. I think Rodgers was holding this team back at least last year, um, because bro, he just he I, he was ready to go. He was, he ready, was ready to go, go. and then the he injury didn't go. help him either. Men's, and the injury, yeah, injury didn't help, and mentally. He was ready to go, bro. He was done. He was yeah. done with Green Bay. He needs to change the scenery. Yeah. Right. And but I the think best thing the... he did for you guys was that he was so willing to mentor Jordan Love. Yeah. Which is something because... Favre had, didn't do for him. So that's really, really cool for you guys. And it's like, bro, he, you can tell that Jordan soaked everything up. He soaked it all up. He's going to be right? so good. Um, it, he, he's, he's an athlete, too. He's big. He's an bro. A- another, yeah. He's big. He's big. He's a big guy, bro. Like this is this is gonna be a different offense. Like it, he, he he's really going to make Lafleur look good this year. I love um, Jordan Love. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for Jay Love, man. I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not worried about him. I'm not nervous. I feel like a lot of the negativity comes from other fan bases because it's so weird, especially with Bears fans. It's like fam, I don't they're delusional. They think Fields. they think Justin Fields is going to win MVP when they yeah, wanted to win five weird. games this year. It's weird, man. I don't I don't pay attention to them. Like I don't I just can't I can't do it. I can't do it. Like you guys are delulu, like legitimately <laughs> delusional, fam. Like what are we talking about here? Oh, um, man. I'm so glad we get them out the gate. Like let, let's get to it, right? Yeah. Let's get us in Chicago. In let's Chicago. get to it. Let's keep the tradition going. We still own you. Like that's I can't wait to say that after the game. Th- that is still like top three coldest lines. Cold. Like bro. a sports athlete at like to the cold. F- I'm so glad the mic picked that up. Yes. I, I, oh my god. It's crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. That's one of my favorite moments. That's up there with um Luca staring at Devin Booker when they're like bust like just oh yeah, 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 yeah. them in game seven yeah 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 that's 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 one of those moments man yeah but it, it's I, i'm excited for jay love i think it's gonna be a good year for him um i think he's gonna show a lot of people that you know he's gonna prove a lot of people wrong yeah and you in hindsight i think that the pick wasn't bad i think trading up was the What's bad the problem? Part. That was the problem because he was he was going to be there unless was, they knew something we didn't know. Yeah, he was still going to be there. Yeah. Right. So he traded what early second, right? Oh no, it was later in the first. Yeah, they just yeah they yeah they got yeah. it got back into the field. It was late in the first. Yeah. Yeah, and then also they just haven't drafted it well in the first. Like that's the weird thing about the Packers. Like they are on. The, Raiders level of like can't draft for anything in the first round. But day two, day three, you can yeah, always find the gym. Packers. Like, I, th- I think people forget that, like, Devontae Adams wasn't a first-round pick. Like, yeah. It's the best receiver in the league. Jordy right? wasn't a first-rounder. Jordy wasn't a first-love pick. That like, offensive line weren't first-rounders. Jair nobody, wasn't a first-rounder. Like, Aaron, you think Aaron Jones was a first-rounder? Like, come on, bro. Outside, like, like Rashawn. No, was Jair a first-rounder? Am I tripping? 
I would have to go back and look. I know Rashawn was because I almost said Rashawn, but Rashawn was mm-hmm. definitely a first rounder. But it's like but, we don't we don't draft receivers in the first round, and it's yeah. like I felt like I said this when that dra- I said this before the draft in 2020. That was the best receiver draft we'll ever see. We won't see that again. Uh, CD that, or is this Jamar? You talk about Jamar. This was the J- J- Chase year. Chase, Chase yeah. Jamar. That 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 draft Chase, that Smith, receiver Waddle. Stacked. Yeah, you uh, won't see nothing like that again, bro. Chase Smith, Waddle. I loved Rashad Bateman that year. It was, it was, it was so. Many. I mocked Bateman to you guys a few times that year. Actually, we could have had so many of them, but you know, you guys got Watson, and that's a great segue into our top three breakout candidates. Breakouts. Who we can do this? I'm gonna throw a little twist in it. Okay, you you okay. can't pick the same guy. Okay, we, we can't pick the same guy. So it's almost gonna be like a draft. Okay. And do you want the number one pick or Snake? I'll go first. Okay. All right. My first guy, for my first breakout. Hmm. Ty Algier. Ooh. Running back from the running back from the Falcons. Are you not worried about uh, Bijan at all? Nope. Especially okay. after, because, like, right now he's number two. So. Okay. Fam, this kid had a thousand yards last year. Quietly. Yeah. Quiet, a quiet quietly. thousand. Yeah. And he runs the ball so well. It's like he's breaking off five, six yards each time he gets the ball. Listen, man, Bijan's a guy. I'm not taking nothing away from him. But I just don't see him taking away from that work that he's already established. I, I can't. And with Cordell there, it's gonna be hard. I think yeah. that Bijan, he's gonna be used more. Like a slot, like scat back type of role, bro. I still think that Tyler is going to be the workhorse when when Patterson is on the sideline. I just think that it's it's going to be too much to share the ball between all three of them, and I think that Tyler is just going to replicate what he did last year, even with Bijan on his ass. I think you can even make the argument that Tyler being really good is going to be better for Bijan because then mm-hmm. you can split the carries to a certain extent to where like Bijan has a lesser workload so that he stays as fresh as possible. Maybe it sustains his career. Instead of giving him 350 touches off the gate, you Mm -hmm. give him 200 touches out of the gate and that could sustain his career even further potentially. My dream is just we can just phase Cordell Patterson out of all of this. Make it make make Cordell Patterson like your kick returner slash slot receiver. Take him back to where he's supposed to be. Yeah. You have a real running back now. You have two you have real two running backs them. now. Yeah. Use them. Use them. He doesn't need to get 15 plus carries to get. No. No. Those days are over. Make, make Bijan your third down back where mm-hmm. you, get, you need a, a pass catchy target out of the backfield, but it could also get tough yardage. And then make Tyler, honestly, like your short yardage situation. Kind of like AJ Dillon, honestly. Yep. Like use Tyler in that way. And then use Bijan. I'm not saying I think Bijan might day one be better than Aaron Jones, but like I wouldn't like use him in that role if, if mm-hmm. that makes sense. But I'll go back to back. Uh, number one for me is I'm gonna go back to the Packers. Is gonna be Kershaw Watson because I don't okay. think people know how good he is. But I think this year, if Jordan Love's gonna be as good as I think we're advertising him to be, Kershaw Watson's gonna be a big reason why. Mm-hmm. He has insane speed, great deep threat, but they also can kind of work in the underneath to intermediate game as well. I love Christian Watson. And then my second pick is I'm going to give an offensive line shout out, but also a plug to my own team. I'm going to do a Zion Johnson okay. left guard for the Chargers. Um, just freaking Mauler in the run game. Going to be a big reason why hopefully our run game is better this year along with the coaching change and things like that. But really good, underrated guard that does it gets a lot of love. Let's go. Hmm. Let's see what I got here. You know what? I'll stay I'll stay in LA. I'll stay in LA. Herbert? Mm-mm. Gerald what's my guy in Gerald Everett. Breakout? Really? Yeah. I think he's gonna have a real year this year. I feel like he starts off. He started off good last year. What happened? 
Uh, I'm trying to remember if he got hurt. I feel like that's what we're, we're the Chargers and damn near 90% of our roster every year. He gave goes, he gave me like three good weeks and then Herbert loves his tight ends. I'm just like, fam, if he can stay healthy, because I like I like him a lot, but I feel like he if he's on the field more, he's Marley, gonna be up there with like a Dallas Goddard. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that level. My only problem with Everett, not even really problem and why I would I would have stayed away. So I think there's too many weapons now. Because I think yeah. you have five legitimate receivers. Allen, Mike Williams, Quinn Johnson, Josh Palmer, Jalen Guyton, if he's healthy. You have Eck, who's going to get a lot of targets. They really like Donald Parham, who's the number two tight end. Wait, like, Johnson. Wait, who's 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 Johnson? Who's that? Uh, TCU receiver we just drafted. Oh, yeah. I forgot you. I wanted, I wanted him. I wanted him. I don't know why I did, but I wanted him. When he was busting uh, Michigan's ass in that in that game, I said, "Oh, he should come to Green Bay." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like him. He he is a freaking freak of nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got got some guys. Yeah. Um. Oh, and my other breakout, the opposite of yours. I I said Romeo Dobbs. I okay. think that I think that Dobbs. He's physical. He's yeah. a he's going to be a red zone threat. Yeah. I really think I think that when we get down to that fifteen to one, that fifteen in the goal situation, mm. you just put it up. He'll go get it. He'll go get He'll it. Go get it. I, I think, fam, we could be seeing uh, two receivers knocking on the door of a thousand for yeah. them this year. If if they really get Jaden into that Reeves group, and stuff too. I know we talked about it's going to be bit. a lot of it's going to be a lot of deep balls, bro. Yeah. A lot of deep ball, like they're they're gonna air it out. I really, it's gonna and it's gonna be there because everybody's gonna be focused on the run Mm-mm. over the top. My last pick, I'm trying to decide because I had a few guys. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go towards the defensive side of the ball for okay. my last one. I'm gonna go corner. I probably shouldn't even say this name because it brings back PTSD. But Tyson Campbell corner for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay. Really, really good. Just press man corner. I didn't like him a ton. Actually, funny enough, I like Eric Stokes a lot more uh, coming out. I like Stokes a lot more than Tyson Campbell. Oh, yeah, I love Stokes. But Campbell's the dog, and he worked us last year. That's for Dagon Shore. Uh, Twice. Played him in the regular season, too, and they cooked us. But he's really, really good, and I think we could start Maybe after the, at the end of this year, start having like top ten corner conversations by him. There's a bunch of really really good corners though, um, and I think that's a really that's a problem I think with sports media, in my opinion, that we sometimes are a little too like nervous to rank younger players high on these lists. Where like Sauce Garner and Pat Sertan were, geez, I don't know what happened. Uh, Sauce Garner and Pastor Tam were easily top three corners last year. But yeah, you'll yeah. see, you'll it's, see it's, lists yeah. where it's like they're fringe top tens or like Pastor Tan's like number five. Or it's like, no, those were two of the three best corners last year. Yeah. So yeah. I don't care that Sauce was a rookie. He was the third best corner last year. It's like they go off of the guys because of their name. That's all it yeah. is. Like, fam, okay. I love Jalen Ramsey. That's my guy. Everybody knows that. Was Jalen Ramsey doing what Sauce was doing last year? Probably not. And Jalen Ramsey's probably a, the fourth best corner. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I, I'm so I'm sick for Jalen. I'm so sick that he's hurt right now. I forgot about I, that. I just fam. I really wanted. I mean, we're gonna see it eventually. But like, I need that out late, the gate yeah. with him, him and X on each side, fam. That's gonna be nuts. Yeah, like that's gonna be insane. And like that's like really a big part of why like I. Before injury, I'm like the Dolphins are gonna be a problem this year. Yeah. Now I'm like they have problems now. So yeah. I don't know. Um, well, that's a good segue. Another one. Eric's just like donning me up, throwing lobs for these uh segues. But let's talk about some teams that we think are sleepers in the NFL. Uh so we can pick three again. Doesn't have to be a draft. We can kind of go back and forth though. Right. Um Who's who will be one of your three sleepers? The Saints. You gotta sell me on this one. I'm not gonna oh. lie. <laughs> Slant Man is back. Is right. he? Slant Are we Man sure? Is back. I saw him. 
He he exists still. I saw him. Olave's a stud though. You bring in Jamal Williams, the one yard touchdown merchant. Okay. Alvin Kamara, he's going to be back after three weeks. Right? Okay. This is probably the best quarterback you've had since Drew Brees left. All right? Are we sure about that? I'm positive. Derek Carr was buns last year. I'm positive. Listen. Listen. Okay. Finally get Taysom Hill. Convert him to a real tight end. Okay. Jimmy Graham is back. The defense is there. Is Jimmy actually back? Yes. <laughs> what? Okay. He's a saint. I forgot. I, I he think retired. that the Saints will be marching in because the NFC South is wide open. It's open. Brady's gone. I don't know if I trust Baker Mayfield with Tampa, right? I don't know what the hell is going on in Carolina, right? Who's the last team in the South? Atlanta. I think that Derek Carr just needed to change the scenery. He's got some good weapons down there in Nola. He's in a, you know, he's still in a dome. I don't, don't sleep on him, man. Just don't sleep on him. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm, you're, I'm did you asleep. snore? Okay. Yes. Listen, I'm, I'm, my brother, I'm my brother in Christ, now. Derek Carr. Watch. He gonna be on the sideline. He gonna say his prayer. Light these defenses up this year. Watch. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I am for sure sleeping on the New Orleans Saints. Um, n- number one for me. Honestly, I think it's the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I kind—I'm of, I'm not okay. a Steeler. I'm not like a Bengals fan, but I live in Cincy, so I, yeah. I almost—I still almost gag. Like the Cincinnati in me still like kind of rejected yeah. saying that, but yeah, uh, I, yeah, I I like Kenny Pickett. They got some really good weapons. George Pickens is a dog, literally. Uh, we we, we got to test his DNA. Um. Najee's a stud. TJ Watts a top three edge rusher. Mika had a heck of a year last I love year. It. I love and him. Mike Tama is gonna let this team be bad. Like it, it's yeah, literally yeah. impossible for the Steelers to suck. So give me the, the Steelers. Like I think a lot of people think they'll go six and ten or whatever because the AFC is so tough. But like there, I think they might be. I don't know. They're going to be good enough, I think. I don't know if they'll make the playoffs. Yeah, they'll, they'll, be the they'll, be, they'll be in the mix. They'll be in the for mix for sure, especially if Kenny Pickett has a good year. I like that Steelers team. It's got to stay healthy. Yeah. Another one of those teams that kind of struggle with injuries. I had um, Pickett was also on my breakout list, too. Yeah, I oh, like yeah, Pickett was, a ton. He was on there. Um, let's see. I'm going to stay in the AFC. I mean, I'm going to stay in the NFC, but I'm going to take it right down 95 to land over Maryland. Rolling with the commerce, the com- the, the commerce, the commerce, <laughs> the commanders. Okay, I can get by on that one. That's why I got like. you got EB, Egg enemy. He's running the offense now. He's there. They hate him um, apparently. You know, yeah, they'll be okay. <laughs> Wait, who's that quarterback? Sam Howell, who I okay. kind of like. Okay. Who like if Sam Howell's good, the commanders could win like eight or nine games to sneak into the playoffs. And, and you know, you know who may benefit from Eric Bieniemy being there, Antonio Gibson. Yeah. I really feel like we can pull him back from wherever the hell he was. He's been yeah. since his rookie year, and maybe get him back in. Yeah, Brian Robinson too. It'd be Rob, you know what I mean? Like I, I think this offense will be a little different, and they're they're, they're already okay. Like they're not a bad team. They're not awful. Like, I watched them in person last year. I I, I I saw what they looked like. They have a good defense. And it's the NFC East, bro. Anybody can win the NFC East. Yeah. You know that. So I, I think that this we got new ownership down there. Like this this it's the, the team that they're, they're probably feeling a feeling a little different now, right? So yeah, yeah I, I like the commerce. The commerce. Like you call them, they gotta change their name. They gotta change that. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna call them the commies all year. I'm gonna stay in the AFC. Okay. And another team kind of similar to Pittsburgh. I'm gonna go to the New England Patriots. And I think that <laughs> Eric. 
Um, okay, hear me out, right? Okay. That offense is that offense is going to be better than last year. Like Matt Patricia is no longer calling plays, and I think we'll see Mac Jones kind of back to how he was his rookie year, where you can have a playoff caliber offense with Mac Jones quarterback. They got some deep in the lines good. But the big selling point for the Patriots is that defense is so good. Matt Judon's a stud. They got some dogs in the secondary, too. Christian Gonzalez, who they just drafted the stud. You can't count out a Bill Belichick coach team to the point where if the Patriots were, like, the third best team in that division, dare I say maybe even second, it would not surprise me. I'm lower on, like, the Bills than a lot of people are. I'm lower than the Dolphins, I think, than a lot of people are. So maybe that's where I'm coming from. But I don't know. I I think they deserve some of the benefit of the doubt. And I think you think they'll be you think they'll be better than the Jets. You think they'll be better than the Jets? I think the Jets are winning the division as long as Aaron Rodgers is still top. As long as Aaron Rodgers is still a top ten quarterback, the Jets are winning that division. What? Aaron Rodgers, Brees Hall, Garrett Wilson. The rest of that, I don't With even remember line? the rest of the receivers. Of what line? They have Mekhi Becton, Elijah Vera Tucker, Connor McGovern, I think. That line isn't it, bad. I could have swore. I watched the game with the same line. That line is not bad. And Mike White got his ribs. We're talking about Mike White here. Come on now. Imploded. He has no pocket presence. Impl- but his ribs, they imploded on the field. Tough. <laughs> no, let me not say that. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers is going to be wishing he's back in Green Bay by week five. That defense is good. Jets are winning the division. Mark my word. Clip the Jets it. Are not, if not, Aaron Rodgers, they play the Bills week one, right? Okay, the Bills. Oh and no one already. Rush. Oh and one no already. Rush. Oh and one already. They start off oh and one. Based off what? They're, they're not going to beat the Bills week one. Based off what? You really think that Josh Allen's gonna let old man River walk in there and just no? That you, more, Demar more, Hamlin pick six first play of the game. Demar Hamlin would only start. I'm not gonna go that far. Demar Hamlin isn't a starter. He started last year because of injuries. Demar Hamlin is gonna pick Aaron Rodgers off on the Jets' first series. He's gonna Did take you it know to who Demar degree. Hamlin was before the situation happened. Please don't, don't, don't you do this. <laughs> By the way, make sure y'all go to y'all fan duels or your your, your draft kings and you go put some money on Demar Hamlin winning comeback player of the year. That's oh, for sure. It's, that's they're giving money away. Let Demar right. Let Demar Hamlin like. Be Fam, all he has to do is show anything. up. All he has to do is get show a up. Snap, and he's getting comeback player of the year. What that's were it. the odds? They weren't that. They were. They, they were super low. It was only plus three hundred because they know they're gonna. He's gonna get he's it. He's gonna get it. There's uh, unless he gets hurt. There's no way he doesn't get it. Let him, like, play five snaps. Just show up on Man. the field. That he, it, Fam, it's the first tackle lose. he makes, uh, it's going to go. It's gonna be on Bleacher Report. It's probably... It's, they're going to move his odds to minus 270 when he gets that first tackle. Fam, one of my Jeez. bros said they're going to name the award, rename the award after him. I said, did, please stop. The Tamar Hamlet comeback player of the you year You have award. got to stop. You've got... Let, let's go. Oh, man. But no, the Jets winning that division, that, that is interesting. I'm... Mm. Hard knock? Was that nice nah, tomorrow? We'll sort of go back around to this. Okay. Okay. What's your last uh, sleeper team? Sleeper team. Um, let me see. Oh, the Browns. The Browns. Uh, okay. I can. I, I can see it. I, I think that massage man. This is his first real year with the Browns, and I think that he'll get back to form. And, I mean, you come on, fam. You got Amari Cooper. You got DPJ. Nick Chubb in the backfield. Defense isn't Still bad. Good line. Yeah, you know, I think this is going to be a good year for the Browns, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> if you can sell me on Deshaun Watson, you know, being more focused on football than being a freak monster, then sure. I'm like. Hey, man. I'm hey, with. I, I can't. I, I can't tell you that he's. I can't. I got All one I eye tell open. You is, one eye football. Closed. That's all I know. What he does off the field, I have, I can't attest to that. 
one eye open for this Browns team. I, I'm I'm halfway asleep. But at least you know he's gonna bring his own towel. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. What a sick guy. Man, <laughs> what I'm a sorry. sick lied. I'm what? sorry, fam. Listen. Listen. Bro said <laughs> at least you know he's gonna All I'm saying is 25 people saying the same thing. They're they, nobody they can't be lying, bro. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, that part I've always felt the same way about. Like, you know how hard it is to, like, keep a lie straight for one person? Like, dog. Fam, like, what? To you got that, 25 like, people on the same page? No. There, there's no way. 25 women. Women don't agree on anything. <laughs> Y'all want to tell me these women are lying? Get the bro, hell you can barely get, like, three people on the same page to keep, like, a lie together. Right? Uh, like, 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 imagine you and your bros are out. And you're trying to like come up with a lie to help, you know, one of the bros be like, yeah, like can't even girl do that. Or whatever. You can't even do that right. But you expect you think 25 or it might have been 27 now, actually. T- whatever yeah, the cool. number is, 25 plus people are lying. Are lying? No. No. The the towel line is crazy. That is uh that is insane. Uh, also. Oh boy. Um oh. I did a segment after the suspension last year, right? I was saying mm-hmm. how short it was and how, like, he should have got more. I, for whatever reason, last week, At I least just, didn't like, do what the NBA did. And yeah. you're like, oh, he already missed a year, so we're going to give him three games. Yeah. I slapped my wrist. Like, they gave him time game. served, basically. Yeah. Right? So I did a, a YouTube segment about that, and I just searched my at name last week on uh, Google. Somebody from the USA Today used that video in their article about oh, the really? I was like, what the hell? It's like, nobody told me this. Right. That's awesome. And this is crazy. That's awesome, dude. Oh, man. Crazy. At least he breaks his own towel. It's, I, I'm clip, I'm sending that to Warder. I'm, I'm going to tell you his reaction. That's hilarious. Oh, man. Um, Sleeper team number three. Hey, Sean. Plug, plug that in on, the, on your left. But uh yeah, my third team. Um don't wanna get like go full circle and end this how we basically started or like this show's been going. It might be a little too obvious though, but screw it, I'm gonna do it. The Green Bay Packers. Oh. If Jordan Love is as good as I think he is, the Packers are winning the division. It's not close. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Fam, we're going 12 and 5. I keep telling people this. We're going 12 and 5. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm falling asleep on that one. No, 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 but... no, 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 no. That's fine. You can sleep, buddy. That's fine. No. Get your rest. It, <laughs> get your rest. No, but like I said, Jordan Love, like I said, in the QB tiers video, we said like he could be a tier to like we had elite, then superstar, then win whip. Like if he's like a tier two superstar quarterback by the end of the year, like we think he can be, the Packers are winning the division because. That's really the biggest thing holding them back, like from the Vikings and Lions, in my opinion. Um, so Bears, W, Falcons, W, Saints, W, Lions at home, we'll lose that one. Raiders on the road, W, Broncos on the road, W, Vikings at home, we'll lose that one. I'll give you guys, we, we just go four and two for the division. You'll sweep the Bears, you'll split the other two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But everybody else, I'm not scared of the Steelers. I'm not scared of the Rams. Chargers. In November, y'all got to come see us? I don't know. Oh, that's right. We do have to come to Green Bay. That's right. Is Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh? Yes, I want to go to that game. Y'all losing that game. I want to go to that game. TJ Watt is going to give Jordan Love nightmares. TJ Watt rushes from the right side, mostly. Don't Don't do that. Bakhtiari is on the left side. So like a Les- TJ Watt won't have a single sack that game. How about that? Not a one. Okay. Okay, happen. okay, my bad. If it's not TJ Watt, it's Alex Highsmith, is Cam is Cam Hayward. I don't even think they have Stephon mm-hmm. to it anymore. They have some other interior, dude. Mm-hmm. Like that D line is gonna give Jordan Love. Actually, I don't know what the rest of the schedule is, but that Pittsburgh game is Jordan Love's worst game this year. I would not be surprised. I can't wait to play the Chiefs. That's an L. In December at the crib? I don't think so. That's an L. Mahomes yeah. plays good in the cold. What are you talking no, 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 about? No, 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 no. It's okay. I know that. I'm just saying. Jay Love, he got to get his revenge. That's, a, that's an L. 
Uh, he and he's gonna outduel Mahomes. Watch. That's absurd. Watch. It's Drugs are bad. No, 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 no. I'm drug free. I'm drug free. I'm just being honest with you. We're sure. Gonna the, we're gonna blow the Chargers out. Um, That's freaking crazy. Let's see. And then the Saints, they don't have Kamara that game. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna start. I see like ten or seven. No, 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 no. Twelve and five. Eleven to six at the most. Maybe even thirteen and four. Thirteen. Okay. Maybe right. thirteen. And four. Jordan Love would have to win MVP if you go thirteen and four. I, 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 yes. Jordan, games. Jordan, I don't know, brother. Jordan might Love be the, would be Jordan Love would be, be MVP. Might be the number one seed. Who knows, man? I don't, I don't number know. one seed just give Jordan Love MVP. Yeah, they gotta hand it to him. But yeah, no, so all, like all in all, we're going twelve and five. I've been saying this all off season. So eleven to six at the most. Okay. 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 Let's, who did the Chargers play this year? We're going eleven and six. I don't believe. I don't think you believe that. No. I I do. Let's see. Who did the Chargers play? Let's, let's, let's pull their schedule up. Hmm. They start off with the Dolphins. L. The Titans. You don't believe that? Jalen Ramsey's gone. Titans. L. Are y'all gonna beat the Vikings? Beat the Raiders? Cowboys. L. You don't believe that? Lost, lose to the Chiefs. Y'all gonna beat the Bears. Jets, L. Lions. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Lions, L. You are bugging. Ravens, L. You, we're at three and six right now. You have a starting three and six. Damn, and then y'all gonna lose to the Ravens too. Damn. You don't Damn. believe this. You are trolling. Beat the Patriots. Beat the Broncos. Beat the Raiders again. Get smoked by the Bills. That's six and seven. Yeah, it's, it's it's looking like it's looking like ten and seven for y'all this shit. I can I can give you that. Maybe nine and eight. I don't know. The the Packers going twelve and five, but the Chargers going nine yeah. and eight. It's crazy. Bro, let's, yeah, bro, the AFC is just significantly harder. You criticize the Jets for like ten minutes for not having a line, but you don't think Khalil Mack and Joy Bosa are gonna get after that line? Khalil Mack plays. He still plays football. I. Yeah. Y- yes. Wow, really? Yeah. I I have not seen Khalil Mack since he literally, he literally had like 10 and a half sacks last year. Week, Don't do that. Week one. Don't do that. 2019? You are bugging saying 2019. I haven't seen he was in the Bears uniform last time I saw him. I, oh. That technically you're right. That's where we got him from. What Kiki Palmer say? What I, I sorry to this man. What no thing? I I don't know. I don't know. I, I really forgot he was he was still in the league. As high as oh. I am on JC Jackson, he ain't getting past Asante Samuel Jr. or uh Michael Davis or but no, JC like, Jackson. No, 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 no. I, I no, but all jokes. I like you guys. I do. And I and I love your defense too. You know why? You're another big part of why I have this. You guys came in clutch in the playoff game and but I mean Nick Foles was the quarterback, but I needed that. So it was a Monday night. Did you text me like right? You texted me right before that. I told yeah. you, y'all just kept picking them off, kept sacking them. There we go. Yeah, I, I, it's gonna be a good season. Man. I'm, I'm excited for football. I'm glad football's back. This is probably the most preseason football I've watched. I, I've, I've never watch watched preseason. Yet. I've watched I've a lot of preseason yet. football, like yeah. a lot. Like um, I think I watched. I was so watching travesty that Sunday tickets like eight hundred dollars. I'm I'm, man, I'm, I'm being. Mom, trying to figure out what we're going to do about that because like bro when direct tv had it i was like paying in installments like okay four months i can do but y'all right. want that three 250 un- up front what man youtube it's, tv like, smoking and it's like i don't want to stream games like i don't i don't i hate doing that yeah, but it's like fam, and then Verizon has this thing because I have Verizon. They're like, if you upgrade your phone or something, you can get it for free. But yeah. I tried, and they were like, I don't know, I don't know. But it's fifty, it's fifty dollars off until the nineteenth of September, so I have time. I told my mom we just can go half on it. She's talking about, um, no, the Ravens we play on on TV every week. I said, okay, if I buy it, don't touch it, because okay? <laughs> I don't want to hear, oh, I want to watch this game. No, no, no. no. Remember? Right. Remember? You said the Ravens play on local. Yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. You said that? God damn it. Because that's the one she, thing about being a Chargers fan. Like it, it it's you gotta get. Like, I, mean, so I don't have a I don't have a choice. Right, you don't have a choice. I, I don't have a choice. 
Like that's that's literally been the whole reason. I, I've had the Sunday ticket every year since 2015 because that was my senior year of high school and we got it for free because we had switched to direct tv but right. since i went to college i paid for it on my own because like fam, I, I need this yeah but i know my mom and she's going to be like oh so and so so and so play a four i want to watch oh no it's blacked out you don't have the sunday ticket i do i do right okay no we we don't have anything uh the uh, uh uncle film me yeah we we <laughs> no oh man and All right, like, I need that for fantasy football. Literally need it. Yeah, yeah. I, and I think about I got to get it because uh, week one we got Miami, and I just know that's not gonna be on. And that's a home game, right? Home game. Okay. In LA, I still gotta go down. The national TV games, I'm good. Like the NBC, yeah. like Sunday. Yeah, night everybody. Yeah, that's that's easy. That's so easy. That'd be but, TV. Yeah. But but yeah my dog. Anything you want to plug or anything you want to say before we get out of here? Um, Electrified is back next week on the 20th. I think that's a Wednesday. Next Wednesday. No, no, next, next Friday. Friday. Yeah. No, next wait, Sunday. Wait, hold on, hold on. 20th is Sunday. The 20th. This Sunday. This this Sunday, okay, actually. Yeah, I lied, I lied, I lied. It's the 23rd. Wow. I'm back on the 23rd. Okay, okay. that's next Wednesday. New, my new schedule is going to be Wednesdays and Saturdays when school starts back up. So, it's going to be on the 23rd. We're back. Um... Yeah, man. Follow me on X at Eric Lines TV. Twitter. Follow me at Eric Lines TV. Um, same as my Instagram. But yeah, man, that's all I got. That's all I got. Growing up is realizing that Elon Musk is just you know a freak, and that's why he he's a horrible, it. horrible individual. Like, he's really ruining the app. Like, I, I won't speak it. negatively. He he got me paid, so you know Elon is. I an saw that you have fifteen million impressions. Yeah. Jesus Christ. To me, maybe, maybe it's like the like the Lakers thing or like that sounds kind of easy now. I've I've been like, listen, but it has to be in like the last three months, right? Yeah. 15, you, 15 you in the last easy. three months. Because I'm like, like looking, I'm like, fam, even in a know. down month, like I think this month and last month, I'm still like last month's like five ish. And then this yeah. month is like six. Yeah, I got to start saying some wild shit on there again. So I can get my, <laughs> I'm trying to get paid. You got, you got the uh you subscribe to blue to hell yeah Just go out on the limb and say you know what jordan loves gonna be a top three quarterback next year yeah I'm get like, two million impressions off that it's something insane bro because like man i'm trying to get paid lebron's not top 10 player ever say okay. oh wow that's too far like you have you have to draw <laughs> all money it's not a good money. <laughs> there is a line hey buddy and that's crossing it. Yeah. bro said Bro said all money is not good money. Don't tell Deshaun Watson that. Hey, all right. So, uh, you know, we'll... Uh... No, 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 no. Don't tell the Browns that. It, no. You don't tell them that. That they're not... No, no, no. Who else should we tell that? Anybody that's taking Saudi money. <laughs> oh, so Vince McMahon? There we go. Yeah, oh, we, he was going to hell regardless. <laughs> but straight to hell. First class. First class. First class, class. trip. You get dealt... No, no. What, what, what's that expensive airlines or like... You get your own like private suite on the plane. There you go. That that's exact. That's ju- yeah. reserved just for you, Vince. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh man, my brother, appreciate you hopping on, man. Of course, Thanks. man. Always a pleasure, man. I'll be back throughout the season for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the sports headline show with my boy Eric Lyons. Thank you all so so much for tuning in, and of course. Go give him a follow. Check out the pod. Again, links will be down below. Till next time, see ya and stay safe.